had the opportunity to use it in the OR in the trial, and it worked remarkably very, very well. It's quick, it's easy, it's accurate, it didn't slow me down, and that's really how it distinguished itself from other systems I've used. The 70s really uh, um, sped up the process for me in, in using navigation, which I do for all of my instrumented thoracolumbar cases. Um, I've been able to cut out a good 20 or 30 minutes a case um, simply by having the 7D available and not being dependent on x-ray techs showing up at the right time, bringing equipment in and out. The 7D just sits there the whole time above us that we're, we're starting and finishing the case and we use it when we need it, so there's no extra time spent. The technology at 7D is really based on something called machine vision, and in fact, you may be familiar with it through the concept of self-driving vehicles. They have cameras on bumpers, and they're understanding what's going on in their three-dimensional environment. Well, we've put our own cameras, our own software, into the form factor of a surgical light that allows you to digitize the entire surgical environment. That idea allows us to take a registration process that previously could take 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes, down to less than 30 seconds. With the cases that we do, there has been a growing concern about radiation exposure risk, particularly for MIS cases. And over the last 10 to 15 years, numerous papers have come out in the literature showing that this is not an insignificant risk to surgeons doing a complex surgery using fluoroscopy in the OR. One of my initiatives and goals early on in the 90s of developing this technology was to get radiation out of the OR, get fluoroscopy out of the OR, and this technology does that uh, uh, very nicely. There's no in need for any fluoroscopy, there's no intraoperative CT imaging, uh, and it, it meets the requirements of what I feel is the ideal navigation system that allows us to put screws in safely and accurately without the need for any intraoperative radiation. As a surgeon, I'm very concerned about radiation exposure. The, the, its cumulative effects over my lifetime, over my career. Obviously, other people in the room are exposed as well, namely the patient. The patient sitting there and being exposed to anything where we may step out of the room or behind a lid shield. Uh, nurses, anesthesiologists, technicians may all be exposed as well. So I was particularly interested that the 7D system uh, really limits my radiation exposure to the bare minimum. And uh, that was a big important part for me, uh, for my livelihood, for my future. The reason why you don't have to worry about bumping the reference array is that if I was using an intraoperative CT and I bumped the reference array, I have to bring that O-arm or that intraoperative CT unit back into the surgical field and get another uh, scan. I don't have to do that with 7D. Uh, they incorporate a registration fix called flash fix that allows us to uh, move the reference array and simply re-scan the patient on the table with a, um, a millisecond flash of light that co-registers the uh, patient anatomy to the CT and instantly re-registers the patients within a matter of seconds. 70s flash fix technology to me was something that I didn't think would be very helpful initially, um, but having used it, um, I think it's a huge time saver. Effectively, what allows me to do it is if the registration uh, reference frame gets moved around for whatever reason, uh, ordinarily that would take another 15 to 20 minutes to re-register the patient's anatomy uh, with new scanning. And with a flash fix, that process takes maybe five seconds to do uh, with the same consistent accuracy. 7D differs a lot from the image guidance solutions out there um, because of our workflow. You're able to register the spine in well under a minute, typically under 30 seconds, do all of that without radiation, and you're able to control the entire technology uh, from the sterile field. We have a uh, foot pedal to control the software, and we have a sterile light handle to control our imaging components. Um, none of that is possible with any of the other technologies out there that are all based on some type of an intra-op radiation 3D ring technology. The spine application in particular is, is very conducive to, to being used in a sterile workflow. The foot pedal interaction that we've designed uh, allows the surgeon to navigate through all the phases of, of registration and navigation uh, quite seamlessly and also enables them to move back and forth within that workflow. You'd think that it might have taken a, a while to integrate the new technology uh, into our workflow in the OR, but in fact, the very first time we did it, I think we saved a few minutes from, compared to our conventional 
uh, technology, navigation technology, and it's just gotten quicker from there. It's really effortless in terms of uh, integrating it into your flow. The learning curve that I went through with 7D technology was probably about three to five cases. It's fairly intuitive, it's fairly simple, the workflow makes sense, uh, and you just learn a few little tricks to make the system work better. And in my hands, that amounted to about three to five cases before I felt very comfortable with the technology. I found that the 7D system was very easy to integrate into my workflow without really changing what I do. And that was really a key. In some systems, I've had to alter what I do, how I do it, what, uh, what steps that I would take. What I liked about the 7D system is that I didn't really have to change what I do. It was very simple to uh, navigate, very easy to re-register if I had to. So I've been more impressed with 7D technology as I use it on a regular basis. It's simple, it's easy to use, it doesn't interfere with the flow of the operation, and it's applicable to a wide variety of, uh, of uh, spinal procedures. My experience with 7D has been nothing short of just great. I uh, enjoy using it, I think it provides me with uh, really good outcome um, and faster case time for the surgery for the patients. Not only am I very proud and excited to what we've achieved with 70 Surgical today, but it's just a glimpse of where we're taking the technology in the future, leveraging our core competency in the realm of machine vision, software development, advanced mathematics to provide new feedback mechanisms that surgeons have never experienced before in the realm of spine and cranial procedures. Music